this is Jody Sosna with Be Home Solutions, and I'm here with Mike Bolton. And this is video number two in our series for home buyers looking to buy foreclosed or distressed properties. Um, like I said, we're getting a lot of questions from potential home buyers, and we're kind of weeding through them. But the ones that keep popping up are the ones that I think we should discuss, Mike. And one that keeps coming up is what's the difference between an REO foreclosure and a short sale? You know, it's funny you ask that because everybody calls us and says, hey, I want, a sh I want a foreclosure. We're going to discuss that in another video, why they're asking us that. Um, but basically, you know, a short sale, you've got, you've got a timeline that, you've, that basically when someone gets behind on their mortgage, the next steps, probably within a month or two, it really depends on the servicer that they have their loan with and then the investor backing that loan mm -hmm. as to when they're actually going to start the foreclosure process. So a short sale is just generally when you've got simple numbers, a house that's over leveraged, um, in financing to what the market will bring. So for example, simple numbers, $100,000 house um, might owe, 120 might be owed on it. So, you know. So the, they owe more than, they owe more to the bank or their lender than the house is worth. Exactly. So they, you know, when you add in realtor expenses, closing costs, everything else, taxes, homeowners associations, dues that are back, any liens, judgments, anything on top of that, um, you know, 120,000, you could be up to you know 140, 150, something like that. So if the market really is a hundred thousand, that's a that's a short sale, meaning that um, the the seller needs to go to their bank and say, hey, listen, you know the market's this, I can't afford it anymore, we need to sell the house. So that's a short sale. So, um, an REO is is called real estate owned. It's also bank owned. You mm -hmm. might hear people say, and that's basically once the so the seller in a pre foreclosure gets behind gets filed on for foreclosure. In North Carolina, it's a, approximately a 120-day state. Um, after 120 days, if the house is not sold in a short sale situation, then it goes to the, the courthouse steps at the auction. So there's actually an auction on the courthouse steps and someone could go buy it there. Um, but generally, 90% of the time, the homes are over leveraged when they go to the, short, uh, the courthouse steps. So they, they're bought back by the lender that has the financing on them. And then they, they become bank-owned inventory or REO, real estate owned. And at that point, that that's when you might see one of those out on the MLS. And that's, um, you know, one of the major lenders is offering up as part of their foreclosed inventory to purchase. I see. And the bank isn't in the, and isn't in the business of being in home sales, so no. to speak. They don't like that. Unfortunately, <laughs> nowadays they kind of are, yeah, right. but they don't want to be, exactly. I got exactly. you. Exactly. So the potential of getting a good deal on one of these homes is pretty great, considering the banks want to get out of them. Yes, yeah. What we've seen is as they age, uh, 30, 60, 90, 120 days in the market as bank owned, you can get a much better deal the longer it sits. I see. Well, that's great information, Mike. Thanks. And uh, stay tuned because we're coming back with a few more, with actually 18 more videos on how to buy a foreclosed home if you're in the market. So this is Jody from Be Home Solutions. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Thank you.